Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video we are going to work with uh, blade components and inside the Laravel documentation you have inside the, uh, the basics you have blade templates and we have the components here and to make a component you need to run this php artisan make component and give it the name and for this I have created a new fresh Laravel application call it blog if I open here okay this is a fresh application so I'm going to create a new component and call it section okay if we come in here inside the app directory we have view director here and we have a components and you have the section is the section is the class of the component we create because if, if when we create a component we have a, a class and a view and the class is inside the app view directory and we have components and the view the blade is inside the views resources views and components here is section and I'm going and here I'm going to display the section okay uh, here is the class here is the view and inside the view I'm going to add the h1 I am section component save it the class is is render this view so render return this view component section and now inside the welcome page I'm going to remove all of this and have HTML5 and here just add the of the component and to do so if I go here inside the Laravel documentation you see to pass the component we put the x dash and the component we create so in our case x dash and the, the component is section if I have a section uh, section header for example we need to, to write like this section header but for now I just have in section so okay close it and if I save now go here and refresh the page okay I am a section component good uh, if I want we can add data here so for example title and title or section component save and inside the class we need to expect a title so uh, public title and inside the construct title this title is going to be title save inside this the section component and I'm going to remove this and pass the title from and we pass the title as the variable here so and if I save go here refresh title for section component okay good we can uh, display for example if I have I'm going to create a function here and For now, I just got to add some John 
I'm going to create a list die slot and I return this list list here save and we need a name for this save and if I come here now and we are inside the section blade mm. you add blade for each list as item and lie save it and refresh now and we have a list so just we create a list here and we have inside the section but we don't put here just create the list and this function is this method is available here in the blade okay maybe for example if we have a, a pause and just do the post add and display all the post for example but in this case we don't have so just i just create this and uh, other thing we can do is uh, we can put here we can put something for example a paragraph and this is a def default slot and if I save and just to show you here if I refresh we don't have anything but if I go to the section and if you if you want we can put here the slot the slot here save and the refresh now and now we have the this is the def default slot what we put here so we can put anything okay uh, we can do more for example x slot and give it a name a name is uh, Info, for example, I like this way. Info and title for the info. Save and inside the section blade, we expect that the that slot name info and we just put it as the variable i'm going to put it here uh, h2 and info and if i say refresh now yeah we have the title for the info yeah we can do more what we can do for example if i want to add the uh, class here uh, sorry here though this uh, and I want to add a class for example BG uh, just for this demonstration I'm going to go to the Tailwind CSS and installation uh, using via CDN copy and inside here pass it okay now I'm going to give a class with uh, BG green 400 
save go here refresh yes we have a title in CSS but we don't have the background green 400 okay so inside the section we put the class but we need to accept here and to do so we go here and add the attributes save uh, now we have the green background of course but maybe I want to add uh, some class here so if I add a class uh, maybe container and mix auto and margin 4 and button 4 and maybe rounded large and save go here refresh we don't have anything um, and to do so we need to copy this cut remove cut this and now inside the attribute attributes you go like this I go and add the merge And here we put the array and the first item is the class and if I save and the classes we added and go here refresh you see we have the I think the components is very good use, useful if you learn you can use it a lot for example you can create a, a component for form a component for uh, only one input a component for file only for file or only for title only for one section and it's very useful uh, I think we are okay you should go to the Laravel documentation here and you have a slot, yeah, 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 scope slot. You can pass uh, data here, no problem. You have the inline components, so you you create a, only with a class, not with a blade. But you have you can have a, anonymous components, and this is very good if you ha don't have any data. Just create. In a blade component, a blade file inside the component, and that is the component. But you, if you want to put some uh, props, you need to expect here. And this is for this video. Hope you like it, and if you you like it, uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, and see you in the next one.